Bam! So what's going on, YouTube? I'm about to uh, review the uh, sixth episode of uh, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, uh, American Crime Story. Uh, episode called Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. So let's go ahead and uh, <clears throat> dive in here really quick. I'm going to pull up the screen share really quick. Um, well, first off, I just want to say that the, the actress playing Marsha Clark, uh, Sarah Paulson, she has done a remarkable job uh, with this TV show. I mean, straight up, I feel like every, <laughs> every single time that I've done a review, and I've reviewed the other episodes, in case you're wondering, um, but it's, I feel like every time I've done a review, it's to highlight her performance, she is fucking uh, pretty spectacular on this show, I must say. I mean, she uh, she, she might want to get ready for like a fucking um, an, an Emmy nomination because she is just, uh, Sarah Paulson is just fantastic. Anyway, let me get the screen share going. Okay, so this moment here, <laughs> we start off with some uh, some nice little um, insight into uh, Marsha Clark uh, as a person with her, you know, with her kid, uh, <clears throat> her smoking outside. But then we get to this moment here where Johnny Cochran just has this, like, the most ingenious idea uh, springed on to this detective right here. And basically, during this sequence, they're just like, they're just, uh, Johnny Cochran is, is uh, just grilling this dude about how, uh, so wait a second, you, you mean to tell me that in your 28 years or however long it was that, uh, you mean to tell me that this is the first time you've ever taken evidence, uh, I think it was OJ's shoes, put them in your trunk, went home, and had that evidence with you for six hours. That seems kind of suspicious. I mean, uh, Johnny Cochran on the show, he didn't have to say it was suspicious. It was evident, you know what I'm saying? And like literally the tension was just so palpable in that in that sequence. Like every time that detective, like he had these small little little swallows of like, oh fuck. You know, like I, <laughs> I was like, oh boy, this is no good. Uh, just uh, a standout moment of, uh, tension right there i was just like damn johnny cochran is a straight <clears throat> straight savage like <laughs> ingenious motherfucker um what else do i want to highlight here as well um i think i'll highlight this moment here let me get the screen share going again um so uh i've mentioned this before but uh the guy playing uh chris here he's um at least I think his character's Chris. Uh, if I'm wrong, fuck me, right? But anyway, the guy, this uh, guy's portrayal is uh, is really cool. I, I think I just love how nuanced his performance is, and um, I really love the sequence. I believe it's here where uh, him and and Marsha Clark, uh, from this point on into the episode, it's like their connection sort of deepens and deepens. Um, and I, I'm not like. You know, I'm not I'm not like incredibly knowledge, knowledgeable about uh, the O.J. Simpson trials, so like uh, a lot of this information is extraordinarily new for me. Granted, not all of it is 100 percent true, but you get my point. But um, yeah, where the, when they were dancing in the office, uh, uh, in the office, uh, you know, drinking, I just thought that was a nice, sweet little moment. Or um, even when uh, there was an incredibly emotional moment for me when Marsha came in and she was feeling really good about herself. She got her, uh, you know, she got her uh, her haircut, and uh, the, the judge Lance he like makes this remark that was just like really, and uh, she was just like struggling. And I love that uh, uh, the guy with the glasses he like writes on a piece of paper, uh, you know. I think it's fantastic. It's fine. I, I just thought that was the uh, oh oh Christopher Darden. Okay, um, I just thought that was uh, just a just a just a a real emotional um, moment for me. Um, what else do I want to highlight in this episode? But yeah, I really loved their chemistry as performers. Is uh, it's pretty fantastic. <clears throat> um, it's interesting, sort of seeing Marsha's life sort of being. Uh, scalpeled and dissected by the the public you know and kind of her 
her issues with her, uh, you know, her ex as well. Um, it's just like, damn, that fucking sucks. Um, what else did I want to highlight? Oh, yeah. Okay, let me get the screen share going one last time because I know I'm going to for completely fuck up this guy's name. But the guy on the left, uh, I'm spacing out on his character name and his real life name. However, uh, in that moment where he goes up to the stand <clears throat> and he looks at the, I guess there's another detective and he's asked him, you know, has he ever uh, used the word nigger before? Yo, man, that was a tense as hell moment. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my God, that what a way to uh, end off. Uh, well, I mean, it ends off with uh, you know Marsha and um, Chris again, and they have another moment of embrace together. You know, she gets that heartbreaking news from the newspaper uh, flash from the past, but really, really, really strong episode. Uh, the best episode so far, which is weird because the fucking, you know, uh, Cuba Gooden Jr. was kind of just, uh, he was there, but he was very, very much so behind the scenes. But a huge, fantastic episode. I think this episode was directed by Ryan Murphy, but uh, I think it's the best episode so far. Um, what are your guys' thoughts? I'm really loving the season. Uh, sorry I'm behind. I will be reviewing the next episode soon.